Welcome back to another facilities modeling video. In this video, we'll be going over how to quickly and efficiently model ladders. To begin, let's select the point cloud we'll be working with and select ladder under the modeling ribbon. We are welcome to the ladder modeling command. To begin, we can keep out everything except the ladder using the segmentation tool. Now that we have our point cloud in, we will edit our parameters. This is where we would choose a predefined model as well. But since we do not have a predefined model, we can select Edit. Here, we can use a combination of the end key and our measurement tools to measure the following parameters. First, we can use the distance measurement in the horizontal plane to measure the overall width of the ladder. Then we can move on to measuring the rung interval, which is the distance between each rung using the vertical measurement tool. When making these measurements, it is best to take multiple measurements to see if you are getting close values each time so we are confident in our final value. We have the option to make a rail section that is either rectangular or circular. And looking at our rail, I will choose a rectangular section. Again, using the horizontal measurement tool, I will measure the width of the rail that is defined by this following measurement. and the depth of the rail defined by this following measurement. Looking at our rungs, I can tell that they're circular. Hence, I will choose this for the rung section. And using the vertical measurement tool, we can measure the rung depth as well. Once we are satisfied with our measurements, we can go ahead and hit apply. Now that we have our parameters measured, we can define a 2D section representing our ladder. First, use either the top or bottom view and use the lock in 2D option to align your point cloud horizontally. Once you have your cloud aligned, select the bottom left corner of your ladder to create a 2D section. If your drawing is not aligned properly with your cloud, you can use the axis manipulators to align it to your liking. Once you're satisfied, select validate. And if we rotate our view, we can see that a stair model with the parameters we have designed has been loaded in. Now, we can use the handles on the top and the bottom of the model to manipulate our model to fit the cloud. Then, we can drag the rung manipulator to the lowest rung and the following rungs are spaced out according to the rung interval we defined earlier. You may notice that as we move to the top of the ladder, the rungs in our model are not aligning with the cloud. If you're seeing this, check the position of your properties by selecting the following and increasing the position to your liking. Since my rungs aren't aligning, I will go ahead and measure the rung interval once more with the greater precision. And now, if you're satisfied with your model, 
Simply hit create and voila, we have successfully modeled a ladder. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos and see you next time.